Hi, you're very welcome along to Off The Ball AM uh, and uh, our relentless rugby coverage in association with, uh, well, you know the rest. Uh, of course, uh, a bit of a dreary start against Scotland last week. We didn't manage to win, just about. Uh, but uh, we've got a different kettle of fish. Uh, Wales are Wales, as we know, so that's what we're facing on Saturday. But I suppose the bigger question uh, since the World Cup is... Yeah, you know, state of Ireland's mindset. Uh, what is Ireland's mindset? Uh, should we be concerned about Ireland's mindset? Uh, you know, is Andy Farrell the kind of coach that's going to be, you know, thinking that there's a problem with Ireland's mindset? Uh, what's going on there? Yeah, well, I suppose that's the point. Uh, do we need to change anything at all? I mean, may- maybe everything's fine the way it is. Well, we need to change something because, uh, you know, particularly the way Ireland are playing, I mean, they've been, you know, pretty dreary, pretty dire. Well, apart from winning the Grand Slam, obviously, that wasn't dire. No, 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 that wasn't dire. But apart from the times when Ireland uh, were good, uh, they were bad. Well, they definitely played better the year they won the Grand Slam than they did when they didn't. Mm, go figure. But I suppose the point I'm trying to make is, insofar a point is ever being made on this show, is, you know, Andy Farrell now has a clean slate, a kind of a, you know, like a, a, a new dawn. Uh, so, you know, in, in a way, that's sort of a, an, an advantage, you know, to, to have that sort of blank canvas. Really? Is it a new dawn? Really? Really? Is it a new dawn? Uh, potentially. Yeah, potentially. It could be dreadful. Could be awful. Could be like the worst period in Irish rugby in decades. But uh, conversely, we still do have very good Irish rugby players. So I suppose it could render what I just said um, uh, meaningless. You mean like everything you say, Ger? <sighs> Yeah, OK, well, ahead of Ireland's huge game with Wales on Saturday, delighted to be joined on the line by uh, Scott Grinnell. Scott, this is a pretty difficult one to call, right? I mean, last year, Wales not really hammered Ireland, uh, sort of like the rugby equivalent of a penalty shootout, except it wasn't really like that because Ireland didn't really get that many penalties. Uh, but you got my drift. Uh, difficult one to call for you? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. And uh, I tell you something, these are the games, aren't they, that if you're not up for it... Uh, it's games like this, you'll never be up for anything. It's a fabulous occasion. F***ing wonderful atmosphere. Who's going to want it more? That's what it boils down to. Down to more than anything else. If you want it, it's there for you. That's what the Six Nations is all about. Because it's f***ing there. It's a f***ing trophy it's all about. The Six Nations trophy. It's about seeing it, grabbing it, and taking it. It's about f***ing taking the opportunities at this level. Because if you don't f***ing do it, you won't f***ing do it! And if you had to call a winner right now, we're here. Oh, it's not... Uh, to be honest, uh, it's too tight to call. Uh, I, I really think this could go either way, and, and I, I'd, say, I'd say it probably will. So you're saying they're both going to win? Yeah, interesting, yes. Uh, uh, very interesting insight into the cryptic mind of uh, Scott Quinnell there. OK, well, so much for On Against Wales. Also, another big game on Saturday, which is, of course, the Calcutta Cup match. Uh, really? Is that a thing? Yikes. Uh, yes, England play Scotland. And Will Greenwood is on the line now to talk about that one uh, from his opium den in Blackburn. Will, uh, how do you see this one going? It's another difficult one to call, right? Well, calls for Eddie Jones to be sacked after one bad performance against the rampant French. Absolutely ridiculous. Wrong. No thanks. Next. One bad day at the office. And hey, what a performance by Les Bleu. Hats off. French flair in abundance. Back to the old days. Pace, power, grit, wit. Absolutely never say die. We move on. Scotland feeling pretty aggrieved after Saturday. The Irish there for the taking. Not to be. What a battle. Hot and steady. Celtic missed. Hog disaster. He scores. It's game over. Scotland dominated to scrum that contained Healy and Furlong, two British Lions. Yeah, two British and Irish Lions, actually. We move on. They will be gunning for England. Absolutely no holds barred. Stuck into the old enemy. Let them know you're there. Typical Celts. Fire in the belly. Passion, belief. Hairy, farty. Flower of Scotland. Up your kilt. Jimmy, William, Wallace. Eye of the tiger. Arse of a rhinoceros. But ultimately, just a little bit shit. Prediction, England. OK, well, uh, with the election coming up, um, Shane Ross, the Minister for Sport, is on the line. Um, Shane, are you going to be at the match uh, on Saturday? Oh, yes, I wouldn't miss it for all the tea in China, which is fine, by the way, but don't share the cup. <laughs> no, no, seriously, I'm a big, big rugger fan. It's in the blood. I, I, I played quite a bit in, in boarding school. Oh, really? Uh, what, what position? Well, I, I, 
I played a loose head hooker on and off the field. But, but I love the Six Nations rugger in particular, the history, the traditions, and I'm looking forward to a damn good spectacle this weekend. I just hope Era can keep the tempo up for the full 90 minutes. OK, we're going to wrap it up there after the break. Uh, I'm going to be joined by somebody else who's going to talk about something else that I have to pretend to be interested in. Uh, see you then. OK, thank you. Uh, yeah. Richard's rugger thing. On Off The Ball. With Vodafone, official sponsors of the Irish rugby team. Team of us. Everyone in. 